Hi guys, my name's Nico and this is what I've been up to this week. So for the last week I've been listening to a record called Stranger Heads Prevail by Thank You Scientist. It's a really, really interesting sort of experimental record. Thank You Scientist are a seven piece from New Jersey in the US and they have a trumpet player, a sax player and an electric violinist as well as the standard kind of guitar, drums, bass, vocals. Um, the record itself is quite hard to categorize but it has a lot of like you know, awesome modern funk influence in there with the brass, as well as some of that um, very kind of new modern uh, prog guitar music in the vein of like Pliny and Intervals. And then there's also the influence of some of a bit more of that old school kind of mo- uh, prog-, prog rock, like uh, Mars Volta and Coed and Cambria. And even uh, it, it initially gave me this big vibe of protest the hero who are another band that i really like um i can't actually can't believe that these guys had avoided my orbit for so long i'd never heard of them and then i discovered them when i was looking for music last week and and i heard um my favorite track on the record mr invisible i randomly stumbled on that on youtube which is where i find a lot of my music these days and it was just such a great combination of a bunch of different things um i think Admittedly, one of the things that hooked me first, which is often the big thing for me, is, is the lead singer's voice. I love the tone of his voice, and I think it it's just used with the harmonies and the doubling throughout the record so, so well. So yeah, if you want to go check that out, uh, Stranger Heads Prevail by Thank You Scientist, and my recommended track is Mr. Invisible. So over the last week, I've been doing a lot more Now in Color band-related stuff. I've been kind of getting more heavily into the writing uh, mode, I guess, uh, to try and get the structure and sort of the initial drafts and things for these this record that we're doing sorted out so we can start to fill in the blanks. We had uh, band practice on Saturday, which was really good. I feel like we're all falling a bit more into our groove and we're feeling a bit more comfortable bringing up ideas with each other. Because one of the interesting things that you always find um, if you ever try and write songs with other people it can be really hard to get over that initial fear of like bringing up an idea with somebody that's not that you haven't had time to polish properly and you know putting putting really putting yourself out there like the amount of stuff that i come up with when i'm trying to write songs that just is embarrassingly bad is like huge you know it's the it's it's the most of the stuff that i come up with with i'm trying when i'm trying to write i just throw it away so making you know exposing yourself in that way uh is is uh quite terrifying but i think we're (laughs) sort of getting into the swing of things and we're feeling a bit less embarrassed about like oh hey why don't we try this kind of thing it's like no that's terrible (laughs) um yeah so it's really exciting we're sort of pushing a little bit more um i have a nice announcement which is that if we manage to get the art finished which i think should be happening Uh, I'm hoping that we'll be able to release our first single, Drift, at the end of the month. Uh, So at the beginning of March, rather. Uh, You've heard the acoustic demo of that one on my channel, or if you haven't, it's there, so you can go watch it if you like. Uh, And you'll be able to hear the fully produced version and get an idea for what Now in Color is actually going to sound like. Uh, Which is a little bit terrifying to think that it's, you know, that point of first impression where you might just decide, oh no, I don't like this. <laughs> um, but anyway, it's it's also exciting. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, hoping... Um, oh, I've actually been doing 
uh, a lot more singing practice recently. I kind of got out of the rhythm of practicing every day while I was recording, uh, even in dreams, because, you know, practicing hard gives you vocal fatigue. And I couldn't do an hour of vocal practice in a day and also try and record vocal parts and that kind of stuff. So it um, feels good to be getting back into the routine, but I've lost a lot of stamina and my chops are <laughs> sort of not what they were at the end of last year. But... You know, this is all part of the process of being a singer. I think most most singers would tell you that they feel like uh, their their tech the their technique and and the way that they sound they'll they'll be going up and up and up and then they'll feel like they're going backwards for a bit and then they'll go up. You know, it's two steps forward, one step back kind of thing. Yeah, so lots of lots of interesting stuff going on. Uh, I'm hopefully going to be working on a review for this microphone that I'm using because I already did the one for my new 7th string. And that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you next week. Oh, I've just got a cat here who's annoying me because he wants to eat something. <laughs> see you later.